He was one of the greatest comedians of, that had ever lived. So a successful actor that came from hardship to become an icon, influencing many comedians and actors and actresses throughout history. A career spanning over 70 years in film and even in theatre. With his success, he was able to create his own company, or production company, with many actors and actresses following suit. All his movies are still even enjoyed today, with his legacy being associated with his own dynasty. Even being played by many actors to being spoken about highly by uh, people around the world. This is the comedic legend, Charlie Chaplin, and this is his basic biography. Early life. Charlie Chaplin was born on the 16th of April, 1889, in London, England, to parents who worked in theatre, and even the theatre scene. His mother was an actress on stage, and would perform in many theatres, whilst his father was a singer, and sometimes also performed in theatre. As these were the great times for the family, and even... Charlie was able to grow up with his brother during the early 1900s, where they were able to spend time becoming part of the stage performances with, his par with their parents, and even sometimes going to school. After a while, his parents would divorce, and his father would leave the family and not be heard of again, until his death from liver disease later on. His mother had to raise Charlie and even his brother Sidney to having later on having health problems herself, due to the struggles of being a single mother and having no financial backing. She would later leave from her film career and even her actually stage career, where it would be tiding them to a poor and poverty-stricken background. She would spend time in hospitals, in and out as well, of each one, basically on her mental health issues, even having her kids be, uh, working in workhouses, plus them Charlie and his brother spending time in orphanages to just to survive the hardship. He, Charlie Chaplin, would live, live like this throughout the 1900s and would uh, continue with this with his brother being looked after by himself. By himself. And having no education, this would only um, ruin their lives even more as they would have to work with in workhouses and even work in various different workhouses around the UK. Charlie Chapman had to change his ideas and change everything um, around him as he would have to become an, um, an actor or have to find another way to get make, uh, make ends meet. So Charlie Chaplin would perform in various theatres and even take up small performances based on his love of acting and even managed to pursue a career as an actor. He would also later on have a choice to join the army, but later he would um, pursue his acting career instead. Acting career. He spent time as an actor, on working on various stage performances and making um, uh, money as an unknown actor during the 1910s. He would continue making money just to add in his pocket and live a better life than he did before. He lived in some slums um, in London and having to look after his brother himself with his parents not being able to help him due to uh, them having their own problems and even his father passing away. Charlie Chaplin would work hard to get himself out of hardship or poverty during this time and better him, himself than his younger years as a performer with his parents um, back in the day. He would have an option to work in theatre and make money to get out of this hardship, or him and his brother would have to join the army during the World War during World War One, as this was um, the, happening at the same time. He, Harley Chaplin, would choose to become an actor and a great one uh, at best, as he would he became a part of working with various stage companies and even touring with various. Um, community acting communities around the United Kingdom. This made him become a comedian and with an implementation of comedy or slapstick uh, or uh, humour within acting on stage. People far and near went to see this new star and being part of um, the acting community and sometimes being recognised by his own acting style. Moving on with his career, Charlie Chaplin had a chance to travel around the world as a comedic star.
he was able to uh, tour around the UK, and this meant him and his brother working in various theatres, even going into the United States, working in theatres there, more being uh, more of a well-known act than he did as a poor child in um, the streets of London, and even um, now making himself a big theatre actor in other countries. Hollywood executives were able to find him acting on stage, and even could be a uh, being a potential for film or a film actor, uh, working in various serious films in their theater in their movie productions. They looked at Charlie Chaplin with a clear vision: a comedic actor on stage or a comedic lead in a movie production, meaning more recognition for this actor and even more money for Hollywood. This would make the uh, this. Um, poor boy into a legend, as well as an icon um, even being used, using his own style of slapstick humour to be one of the greatest acts on the silver screen. He would get his big break in the mid-1910s with Keystone Studios, providing him a contract for his starring role or starring in their movies in general. The first movie appearance he was able to uh, have an appearance in or have a um, major first leap onto the silver screen was the movie Making a Living in 1914. King of Comedy. In the mid-1910s, circa 1914, Charlie Chaplin became an overnight star with the world seeing the comedic legend in various films that were made by Keystone Studios. He had enough recognition in the UK and even around the world by showing that people in poverty can become rich with their potential of um, improving their skills and even using their skills to make themselves better in lives. This was the silent film era where a select few became um, actors and actresses in movies such as comedies to um, action films that audiences could enjoy, even soldiers fighting in World War I. He was able to create his own character called the Tramp, and this was based on his real-life experiences as being a poor child and even turning into a poor man in later times. When he was younger, he was able to um, live in this hardship, but now he could poke fun at it, and even real life in general. More great movies were made with Charlie Chaplin in mind as the lead, and even more production studios gave him contracts for bigger, with bigger money towards his fame even having chance to work with other great actors and even involved in comedies that at the time would could rival other actors within the within the big uh, within and even on the big screen he would manage to get uh, more um, movies into his pocket, uh, resume as he managed to star in more iconic movies during the time of the rest of the night uh, not uh, during the time of the 1910s and still continued to play as his character later on which was called The Tramp. He would even star in a movie in, uh, called The Tramp in 1915, where he was able to play his iconic role again, and even le- again and again and again later a time going on. Later on, he would still be classed as a great actor, but now given more freedom and rights to contribute in film, and even sometimes direct him. SNA and even Mutual Studios were able to um, be the companies that will help him, help uh, allow him to contribute his vision of Hollywood and his versions of the film of fil- Hollywood film and even creative direction. The 1920s would be the decade that he was able to uh, help other stars to contribute as into international fame, and even becoming one of the first international stars um, contributing to Hollywood. Another icon on a quite iconic film called The Kid in 1921 helped young Charlie Chapman to become a hero on the silver screen and even a legend that would be talking about that we talked about for years on end. He even created his own production studios at the time based on his, uh, based on the money he made and even the experience in film as well as being an actor. Sometimes directing and writing skills were used in his um, production studios with his, with a collaboration with a fellow actor called Douglas Fairbanks and his own brother Sidney Chaplin. The um, other studios um, that were able to help him were able to help fund this new studio or this new production studio 
which he called United Artists. And their first movie was called A Woman in Paris in 1923. And he would make more movies still with this production studio, even based on films in, later on in World War II, as well as he would be in the, uh, carrying on in the 1940s. As the 1940s film, based on the, um, um, based on the, the war, uh, World War II, call, um, which is, was called The Dictator in 1940, and would even carry on ridiculing and even uh, being able to talk about the events in history within his film via comedy and even slapstick humour. Charlie Chaplin was a Hollywood legend that had the world at his feet and would get married at least four times in his life with his um, having multiple children with his wives. His first wife was called Mildred Harris and they were, their relationship lasted from 1918 to 1920. His second wife was called Lita Gray and their relationship lasted from 1924 to 1927. His third wife was called Paulette Goddard, and their relationship lasted from 1936 to 1942. And his last wife was Una O'Neill, from 1943 to his death. His lifestyle would change a lot due to adultery and even ha being portrayed in a negative life, light being shined on him within his uh, film career or later film career and even outside his um, Hollywood um, contributions. He would leave United Artists in the 1950s due to um, his content in movies being not adequate and even being pushed out by many members of his, of his company. And he was actually once adored by his audiences, now being loathed by many. Some of his later films would star... Um, would star him with new actors and actresses in various movies, but would slowly move away from the cinema scene for those actors to now have their own career. His political views were changed as from being a part of the United States and being part of the United uh, helping out the, his country, now to having the United States government having an interest in his personal life and his um, valued, um, sometimes veered, to being... Um, to having uh, parts of his political ideas linked to communist movements in the United States as well as in Hollywood, sometimes being stemming from Europe, in which he was li it was linked to uh, most of the Hollywood writers and even actors being blacklisted, with some accusations of him being anti-American at the time. He would later have some implications of material that had the American audiences hate him even more due to the views of um, having uh, content that was against their country, and even sometimes co um, contemplating with um, having films influenced by the Soviet Union at the time. He would also still continue to act and would have to leave the United States to move to Europe just to be exiled by the, from the government. His last movie was called A Countess from Hong Kong in 1967, then retiring later on with even having some appearances away from Hollywood and even being able to star uh, in smaller movies. He would also appear in festivals and even award ceremonies based on his stardom and some people still loving to see him again on the silver screen or on the small screen now. Legacy and Death Sadly, the great comic legend Charlie Chaplin passed away on the 25th of December 1977 in Switzerland at the age of 88 years old. He was hated in the later years of his life due to having his own opinion and even being part of the speculated uh, socialist movements or, or the communist movements during the Hollywood period of the 1950s and 60s, which he would also be blacklisted from, based on, as well, the ch world changing around him and sometimes poking fun with the climate that was basically changing every day. He spent time becoming the great comedian in the world and even in Hollywood, having many awards he won himself a star on the Walk of Fame, as well as various companies that he was able to make, even giving him some contributions. His legacy 
is still alive today, with his family turning it into a dynasty in Hollywood. With his daughter Geraldine Chaplin being a great actress and his granddaughter Una Chaplin being a Hollywood uh, actress and even a model as well. Commemorations and even memorials are being um, made based on this legend, having inspiration for all people around the world, and even implementing his style of comedy uh, in more movies based on actors and actresses that live to see their perform his performances, influencing great actors even till today, with uh, the late. Peter Sellers he was being able to create his own character and even create his kind of style of inspiration from Charlie Chaplin for the character Inspector Clouseau based on the Tramp character. Sacha Boa Cohen, a modern actor nowadays, being one of the best comedian, comedians of all time, he was able to play a dictator in the film um, The Dictator based on like uh, some inspirations from Charlie Chaplin's cap ca uh, dictator character from the movie and he was and even these are two of the examples that Charlie Chaplin was able to influence um based on his acting style and acting credit he is and he will always be one of the greatest and even even the greatest comedian of all time thank you for watching and please subscribe if you haven't done so this is one of my um uh, longer videos, um, you know, there's a lot to talk about Charlie Chaplin um, If you like this video, please subscribe and if you like to see more content like this, please uh, have time to look at it uh, My name is Suki Cookie and uh, I would like to say thank you for watching and um, You know have a nice day or, or good night and uh, farewell. Thank you